A terrifying morning for neighbors in the rural town of Acampo when deputies say a homeless man broke into a home and stabbed a man, then ran into another home, barricaded himself inside. Thankfully, that victim is expected to survive. In a story you'll only see on ABC 10, our van two spoke with a neighbor who says she's got her best friend to thank for keeping the situation from getting worse. <laughs> At just one and a half years old, some family members weren't too sure about Dakota, a Belgian Malinois German Shepherd mix. And they thought maybe she'd be a little too aggressive. But her human, Jane Davis, says Dakota proved her tenacious and protective nature was exactly what her family needed after a very scary Thursday morning. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office said around 7.30 a.m., 39-year-old Timothy Camino, a unhoused man from Stockton, had broken into Davis's neighbor's home about 20 miles away in rural Ocampo, surrounded mostly by vineyards. They say he stabbed her neighbor multiple times and took off with car keys. We're just so thankful for Dakota because he would have... He broke into their home, he would have broke into our home. That's because Dakota chased the man away from the home and towards the garage. After stabbing her neighbors, the intruder broke into the garage through this door, using the freezer to block it and barricade himself inside. After some time, he made his way out of this window where deputies arrested him. This was the mess of toppled boxes and broken glass left behind. Davis said it appeared Gamino was out of sorts. He was screaming from the garage and goes, I'm going to kill you. Um, please don't kill me. Don't stab. So we thought like there was two people in there. Davis works in Stockton and says she sees homeless encampments getting cleared out there, recently seeing some unhoused people migrating away from the city. Because they have nowhere to go. That's why she got Dakota as a guard dog. So it's kind of scary. You know, you can't even live in the country anymore and feel safe. And despite some hesitation at first, Dakota is now very much part of Davis's extended family. But after today, they were loving on her and kissing her and saying, good job, Dakota. <laughs> What a loyal Dakota. Well, Davis's neighbors who was stabbed is going to make a full recovery, thank goodness. And according to law enforcement, the suspect is in custody and the knife he used was recovered.